Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today I want to show you a quick video on this limited release for KnifeCenter.com for the CQC7 VF. That's right, V for V grind and F for a flipper. So it has all those little features in it. And let's talk about it because I think it's a good package that people should be aware. And again, we are in August 2020 and just making sure, I think last time I saw, these guys were in stock, so I want to make sure that you are aware of it. There's 60 pieces on it. If, if I think here, let's look at that serial number. Yeah, this is 32 out of 60. And again, I just got this, I opened the package and I wanted to make a quick video for you guys to check it out. And let's talk a little bit about it. Now, if you're not familiar, the CQC7 guys is a classic. It's a classic design, okay? It's been around forever, right? And normally speaking, the CQC7 comes in a chisel grind that I love to, you know? The chisel grind means it's ground on this side and then it's flat on the other side, okay? Just like this piece right here. In this case, we're talking about a V grind and this is the first flipper CQC7 with a V grind in it. And when we are talking about a V grind, we're talking about a knife that has this grind on this side, like you know, and it's also ground on the other side, like you can see, okay? And that is definitely, definitely super cool. I really like it for EDC everyday style of task. It's a beautiful, beautiful blade. You have that swatch right there, satin finish, right? So, oh. Beautiful right there. And the Tanto that I'm a huge fan of it. Now you can see in that blade, you have the CQC7 VF made in the USA. This is 32 out of 60. And the blade steel for this run is S35VN instead of your normal CPN or 154CM, okay? So be aware of that. This one has the wave in it that works excellent in the CQC7 model. And then you have this hunting camping orange flavor in it, right? With these G10 handles, right? You have this orange with blacks on it. And one really cool thing about this handle is that how they contour them. I really, really like the finish in this handle. It's not super grippy, it's well, well contoured. And I tell you, they should do more of this. I think they need to start releasing more handle to this in their classic models. You know, not only orange, I'm talking about red, blue, you know, whatever. Just let us choose handles for our models. I think that will be a home run. In this case, Knife Center, their signature color is orange, so they went with that. But guys, this feels excellent in the hand. In the CQC7 flipper, that flipper also look, uh, works as a finger guard, right? So you know that from my previous reviews. But guys, yes, that G10 handles feels excellent. He has enough grip, okay? Enough grip to be great, okay? Another thing to note is that they're using the XL standoffs in this model, okay? Instead of your other, let me see if I have instead of your smaller ones right here, right? Like you can see right there, okay? And then other than that, right? The G10 handles and contouring of those handles that I think are excellent. And again, I want to make sure that you take a look at the work that they did in those handles because man, maybe orange is not for you, but I, they are into something. They should definitely start offering more of this setup across the board, I think, okay? And like we've been seeing with special editions that are using that Doom pivot that now we're used to and we know what to expect, right? And again, guys, this is exclusive for Knife Center, the CQC7 VF, the first flipper with a V grind in the seven mod in the CQC7 model. And again, if you have any questions, guys, feel free to contact me through Instagram, YouTube, you know, Echo forums, Facebook forums, or USN, who are always there sharing this hobby. And I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys this excellent knife. You guys have a great day out there. Bye.